Hi, and welcome to my latest Blind Whiskey Review. Tonight I'm taking on the complete Jameson Core Whiskey range. We have the original Jamesons, the Crested, the Black Barrel, the Castmates Stout and the Castmates IPA. I've tried all of these in the past. I'm a fan of Jameson's. I went to the uh, Bow Street uh, Distillery uh, experience back in February of this year. And um, I'd say I'm a bit of a fan. Um, it's interesting because obviously I'm going to taste all of these blind. I'm going to tell you a bit about them and um, tell you which is, uh, which is my favorite based on the blind tasting, not on obviously what I know are my favorites uh, for real. It will be interesting to see if that changes, if I can pick them out or whether or not I'll make a right old dog's dinner of it and um, have to go back to the drawing board with my, uh, my, my tasting. But I'll get my wife to put them in the uh, blue Glen cans as usual. She'll mix them up and uh, I'll, I'll label them underneath and um, we'll see how I get on. Onto the whiskey. Right, so my wife has poured uh, each of the whiskies into these blue Glen cans. She's uh, mixed them up so I don't know which is which, and she's labelled each of them on the bottom so I can reveal which is which. But for you at home, I'll put below uh, which is which so you can follow along and see how I'm doing. But before I get on to um, nosing and tasting the whiskies, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, Jameson. Uh, founded by John Jameson uh, in Dublin in 1780. Jameson Irish Whiskey is the world's leading brand of Irish whiskey and also one of the most famous whiskey brands in the world. The um, whiskey itself is a blended whiskey uh, at least four years old. It's a mix of uh, pot stilled whiskey and blended whiskey. Uh, most of these have the same recipe, uh, they're slightly different in terms of maturation. Uh, I think the Crested is, uh, has some sherry finish, um, I think even the Black Barrel might have, I'm not 100% sure on that. The Castmates are obviously interesting because they've been uh, finished in beer barrels from a local uh, craft brewery. The uh, Crested one is obviously interesting. It commemorates uh, the fact that Jameson bought the bottling of their whiskey back in house in 1963. They used to um, used to get uh, bonders to uh, do that for them, but they couldn't actually guarantee the quality of their whiskey was reaching consumers, so they bought that back in house. The um, the brand today is part of the Irish Distillers Group, uh, which includes. Um, Powers Whiskey and uh, uh, others, but it's um, it's made in uh, the New Middleton Distillery. The um, the group is also owned by its parent, uh, Perno Ricard, who own uh, a number of whiskey brands uh, around the world. But um, that's enough of uh, the history lesson. Uh, Let's go on to the whiskey. So I'll nose each one. I'll give you an idea of uh, which I think is which and what, what I'm smelling. Um, I'll then taste each one. I'll put them in order of preference and then I'll have a guess at which is which. So let's have a nose. Right, I'm getting that sweet caramel toffee, vanilla, it's really creamy uh, what you get with Jameson's. This does smell, does smell a little bit like the standard Jameson's. You always get that sort of alcohol vapour which comes from the grain alcohol, but it's uh, it's not too strong, it's not off-putting. Uh, all of these whiskies are 40%, but it does smell like there might be a hint of something else in there. Is it one of the cast mates? Not sure. So let's move on to the next one. Right, instantly this one is different. 
I'm still picking up that sort of caramel, caramel vanilla toffee, but it's, it's, it's muted. I think I might be picking up. There's a sw another sweetness, maybe sherry, maybe the stout, because the castmate stout has a, a sweet finish on the nose. Just, just out of interest, I've not actually drunk uh, or nosed any of these prior. Uh, not had any of these for, for a little while now, so um, it, it's not like I've been uh, trying to do my homework on these. On to the third one. Right, that has a, a noticeable toffee sweetness. So it's, it still has that normal sort of honeyed vanilla caramel but there's yeah, there's a much rounder toffee sweetness with this one so I'm I'm thinking that could be the castmate stout or possibly the standard Jameson's okay let's move on to um, number four Right, this one's different again. There's almost like a wine, a wine finish on the nose. Not necessarily like sherry, but more like cognac. Definitely doesn't have that strong caramel vanilla like um, normal Jameson's. Okay, let's um, move on to the last one. Right, this one's this one's different again. It's quite a bit different. This one has more sort of dry, sort of tannin, uh, sort of oaky. I'm inclined to think that one might be the IPA, but I'm not sophisticated enough on the nose to be able to necessarily pick these out, especially as they are fairly similar. I'd have to um, wait until we taste them, so. Yeah, there's a sweetness there, but there's also a dryness. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna taste each one and um, see if I can spot any differences. So, let's try the first one. Right, that one's got that alcohol vapour. It's got the very rounded, creamy caramel toffee. But it seems to have extra body. It does remind me a little bit of the um, of either the Black Barrel or the Stout castmates. It's difficult to tell though. Won't be able to tell until I've tried some more. So, sip of water and on to the next one. Right, on to this one. That one has uh, definitely like a, a thinner mouthfeel. The viscosity is lighter. I'm pretty sure though, I picked up the, um, the sherry on that one. There is that, that sort of like fruity um, sherry note, you know, that fortified wine influence, those sort of red fruits. My guess so far is that's the crested. Let's go on to the next one. Yeah, very strong and sweet this one. Right. This one tastes like normal Jameson's but with much more sort of rounded toffee sweetness on the palate. 
it's still quite a thin liquid. Uh, most most of the Jamesons are. They don't really have much of a mouthfeel or a coat. Um, but that one has a much sweeter finish to it. it it's it is like you've had um, a Werther's original in your mouth, and you've you know been sucking on Werther's originals. It's a really round, smooth, toffee sweetness. I'm more inclined to think that one is the castmate stout. Okay, more water and on to number four. So, right, instantly getting completely different flavours. Right, that one's nice, it's sweet, it's smooth, it's light. I'm not sure if there's a dry finish there or not, it's, it's difficult to tell. But I'd say that number four is either the Standard Jameson or the Castmates IPA. It's a very simple, very sweet, very smooth whiskey with possibly a touch of a dry finish to it. So I'm going to have some water, move on to the final one. Hmm. There's a tang to that one. I'm not certain. There's a there's a tang to that one, like an extra body like like the black barrel. The black barrel one um I think has extra char, or the the barrels have a, a different charring process, or something like that. I don't think it reminds me of the castmates. There is a, like a fruitiness to it, which I've had in the the black barrel before. So yeah, but which were my favourites? They're all different but they all have similarities which is my favorite I don't know I'm just gonna have a sip of each of them again that will help me work out which is my favorite uh, from most to least and then I'll have a stab at which I think is which so let's go for the second taste Right, rather than say which I think is my favourite, I'm going to say which I think is which, based on what I think I'm tasting, and therefore I'll tell you possibly my preference. It's difficult when you've got five in a row, that's quite a lot, and they are very similar. I think that one's normal Jameson's. Number four is normal Jameson's, I think. I think number five is the Black Barrel. I think number two is the Crested. I'm just gonna have a sip of those two again. Right, so I think number three is the stout. And I think number one is the castmates. Well, by working out which I think is which based on taste, obviously I know which ones I prefer, so I can tell you 
out of these what my preference is are one to five, but that's based on the flavor profiles that I think I've guessed. Doesn't mean I've actually got it right. So, in first place, it's gotta be the castmate stout. That's first place for me. Second place, the original Jameson's. Third place is the Black Barrel. And that's only based on what I've tasted uh, previously and today. Obviously, I wouldn't normally try all five at once, so that's um, uh, a different experience. Sometimes the, the Black Barrel, for example, can stand out and, and wow me, but that's in isolation. It isn't, it isn't together as a, as a flight, tasting the flavors back to back. So we've got first place, second place, third place, fourth place with the crested, fifth place with the IPA. But have I got any of them right? Should we start with this one first? Is this the castmates IPA? Wow, one out of five, that is the IPA. Is this one the Crested? Yeah, there's a C there, that is the Crested. I'm on a roll. Will it go downhill from here or um, can I stay in the game? Third one, is this the Castmate Stout Edition? No, that's the normal Jameson. So from taste profile alone, I thought this one was the best. So I clearly think standard Jameson's taste the best. So let's just um, move the cast mates out of the way and we'll put the standard Jameson next to the glass. So I thought this one was number four was the standard Jameson, it clearly can't be, but if it's the stout, that means I've got four out of five. If I'm wrong and it's the black barrel, well, let's find out. So, it's got a BB on the bottom, so that means it's the black barrel. So that means the final one is the castmate stout. Let's just double check. Yeah, stout on the bottom. So, two out of five. Do you know what? I thought <laughs> after getting the first two right, almost thought I was on a roll and thought I could um, get more right. But it's um, it's an interesting education when you're um, trying very similar expressions. Um, they aren't massively different. They all have uh, the same recipe. They may be aged ever so slightly different and obviously some of them are finished uh, differently. But um, obviously the standard Jameson's, the Black Barrel and the, the um, Castmate Stout all have um, a higher level of sweetness um, than than these two. Obviously the Crested is slightly different because it's it's sherry finished so there, it does have uh, does have a little bit of different character to it but um, well I'm reasonably happy um, with that but um, I don't know is it the most I've got right so far? Well let's go for um, my favourite which was I think the standard Jameson's launcher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.